most people think that you can't overclock the CPU in your laptop because it'll catch on fire. Well, it won't if you have a good enough cooling system. Yeah, if you have a MacBook Pro, I wouldn't suggest overclocking it, but if you got a good high-powered gaming laptop, then you could go ahead and overclock it, or if you have some crazy cooling rig. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get the maximum performance out of your laptop. So stay tuned, learn how overclocking your CPU helps out a lot when it comes to video editing, even gaming. All right, so first we're gonna do a benchmark called Cinebench R15. This is with my processor not overclocked. I'm fast forwarding through it because it kind of takes a while. It really stresses your CPU and how it performs. Um, so yeah, fast forwarding. And my score for this particular benchmark is, uh, hold on. Got 691, which is actually really good for a laptop. Um, that's with the base of this running at 3.8 gigahertz. And here's a video um, just rendering like nine files or something like that. No effects or anything. So we're just outputting and I'm going to fast forward right here because nobody wants to stare at this going on and on. Um, for this we get about 59 seconds or so, 59 seconds just to export that and I overclock using a Intel Extreme Tuning Utility or XTU is what they want to call it. So yeah, you go through the interface, um, go over to core, you can do all controls, you know, it gives you a warning saying you can damage your system and uh, so first thing I like to do is I like to bump all the cores up. Um, some people, their laptops, if you have an extreme processor, it's unlocked everywhere and you can push as much as you want and you know, you got to add more electricity and power if you want to uh, do this. So uh, I think this is the default, I honestly don't know what the default is, but if you have cooling under control, you can add more power because more power, more heat. So here I am just, you know, raising the uh, power limits. And we got this, and you hit apply, and you know, boom, you can see the jump up. Um, I'm about, I'm at 4.2 gigahertz. Um, right there, that's just because I guess more than uh, one core is being used. So, you know, we got this going on, and we're gonna do Cinebench again, and this is with the overclock. So again, fast forwarding, see what happens, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Um, the CPU is scoring overclocked 763. I mean, that's more than a whole lot of desktops. I mean, I'm getting up there close with the uh, 477K. Um, and yeah, so I mean, I got a big performance boost right there. And I didn't even uh, increase the cache frequency. So now we're doing the exact same video test, same export. And at the time of this video, I didn't have an SSD. Uh, so that could have actually been a bottleneck and here we got about 45 seconds. So yeah 14 seconds you may not think much, but it uh, Over a long period of time you uh, Like if you have a video with a ton of effects then you'll definitely see the difference or if it's a longer video or if there's different layers So I mean that's just like the best case scenario, but if as you can see There's more heat. This is a stress test full load. I mean 97 degrees Celsius 98 so yeah, it adds a lot of heat. 